six, seven, eight. Over the past few weeks, Zimbabwe's dollar has gotten stronger against the US dollar, a rare occurrence in recent years. Still, prices for groceries and other basic goods keep going up. 32-year-old big boy Kushupika wants that to change. My wish is for prices and rate to move together, not having prices in US dollars going up when its rate against the Zimbabwe dollar is going down. Prices keep increasing in US dollars. That's where the challenge is. I do not know how they have to solve this. Zimbabweans have used the foreign currencies like the US dollar and the South African rand since the collapse of the original Zimbabwean dollar amid severe hyperinflation in 2008. The government issued a new Zimbabwean dollar a few years ago, but it has struggled to maintain value. Economists say that in recent weeks, the government has suspended payments for major projects like road construction with the goal of reining in spending, bolstering the currency and easing inflation. Give to Mugano, an economics professor at Deben University of Technology says this is being done because of Zimbabwe's August 23 general election. They want to create a false impression that the government is winning the war on exchange rate. But in, in all economic reasoning, we cannot concentrate on exchange rate as an effective policy instrument to direct the economy to stability. But persistence Guanyanya, an economist, who sits on the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's Monetary Committee rejects claims of currency manipulation. He says the government's currency measures are working and the prices will go down. But we understand the adjustment may not happen in one day. It may take time. But I'm pretty confident that post-election, the situation will remain as it is. Prosper Chitambara is a senior economist with the Labor and Economic Development Research Institute of Zimbabwe. He predicts that after the election, which the ruling ZANU-PF party is expected to win, the government will resume payments and the local dollar will revert to its usual ways, plummeting. Ultimately, for sustainability, we need, obviously, a tight monetary policy. We need uh, monetary uh, discipline. We need to control money supply. Uh, we need fiscal discipline, we need to control public spending, you know, and of course we also need institutional reforms, especially those that are aimed at plugging in leakages and corruption uh, within the system, because that also has a destabilizing effect uh, on the macroeconomy. Meanwhile, Zimbabweans like Kushupika are closely watching the currency as they see prices on basic goods and services rise and the local dollar is firming up. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Harare, Zimbabwe.